there are new developments in the southern region. The Ukrainian army continues its operations here. Ukrainian fighters in the Tauria direction continue to inflict losses on Russian invaders. Alexander Tarnowski, commander of the Tauria Operational Strategic Group, reported that the armed forces of Ukraine destroyed more than 700 invaders and 51 units of enemy military equipment over the past day. The enemy's losses in manpower and armored vehicles are increasing. Eight tanks were destroyed, and the total loss of manpower is more than 700 people, Tarnowski said. In the operational zone of the Tavria Operational Strategic Group, the enemy conducted 11 airstrikes, 56 combat engagements, and 973 artillery shelling. The operations carried out by the Ukrainian army in the southern region are destabilizing the Russians. The Russian army, which devotes most of its energy to the Avdivka region, is struggling to respond to the Ukrainian offensive on the Kherson front. We had reported that the Ukrainian army continued to advance in Kherson and inflicted losses on the Russian army with the attacks on the bridgehead. The Ukrainian defense forces continue cautiously in this region and carry out their operations when the Russian troops do not expect them catching the Russians unprepared. Ukraine's advance in Kherson means its approach to Crimea. The Ukrainian army will use all its strength to liberate Kherson and Crimea from Russian occupation.